Okay, <clears throat> so here's a little bit of real world scenario for uh, a Kirkin styled fixture here, shrink fixture. You can see I've done two shrinks here already to get this curve out. This, um, this piece was tipped and it's, it rolls down. So as you tip this up, it made this one to curve in and I've got some still pictures of that. So uh, what we need to do is shrink this to pull this back around straight. So I'm using the uh, Kirk fixture because it's actually quicker than uh, setting up my shrink dies in the power hammer because I still have the beading dies in where I did this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and pull the tuck in there. And we're going to work our way up as we're doing that. A nice tuck in there. This is going to take quite a bit. Now the thing of it is, as you pull the tuck in, you can see how much this is straightening out. And with the fixture holding everything still for you, you're pretty much guaranteed that that's how much you're going to get. Um, relaxed a little bit but not a whole lot so we've still I, know, I had I guess I had it showing you that way before so it looks like I need to pull one more tuck probably between the first two that I did here <coughs> we'll go ahead and do that Pretty straightforward. Go ahead and get, get close up so we can really get, get uh, now like I said, if we look down at oh yeah, it's definitely straight now. <coughs> straight down this thing you can see that we now have a straight line here where before we had a, a curve this way and you can see how quick the uh, the tuck shrink works that way